Okay, this little video will be to show uh, how to make a block with an inclined surface. Um, click New, Part, OK. And then it shows up. We want to do our work in the front plane. We want to hit Sketch. Now then, we're going to do a rectangle. We will start it at the origin. And dimensions are ir irrelevant. Okay, we're going to click Escape. Then we're going to click on Line. We're going to grab a hold of there at the center. It snaps. And right there where it snaps, we're going to click Escape. Then we're going to grab a hold of Trim Entities. We're going to trim there. Just answer yes. We're going to trim there. Answer yes. And then we're going to grab a hold of the Extrude. And we pull out here to some predetermined dimension that we don't care about right now. Then we're going to click the green check button. And there is our block that shows an inclined surface. Now, uh, uh, again, a couple of points I want to make here. Let's look at the view from different directions. You see this shows us the top view. And you'll notice there on the top view that the shaded portion or the inclined portion is a uh, square or a rectangle All right, from that particular view. If you look at it from the front, it is the inclined portion is only a line and if you look at it from the profile section uh, it's a square or a rectangle again so this gets back to the basic definition of an inclined plane it will be viewed if you view it from three different uh, perspectives here uh, two of the perspectives it will be seen as a square or a rectangle while the third perspective it will be viewed as simply a line. All right, now let's take a look here at this way and you can see uh, here you've got the hidden lines. All right, It's a corner or an edge back behind that you cannot see but it's it's really there and then this surface here is the incline and that's going to uh, conclude this little video and the next one will be on an oblique surface uh, exactly what that will look like.